quake. edition of World Crisis Radio, and I am Webster Tarpley speaking to you from Washington, D.C. Now, this is our last program of the old year, 2009, and we're going to devote a significant amount of it to the overriding question of economic program. Uh, how do you get out of a depression? Hint, it's not the Obama fascist corporate state, and it's not the troglodyte uh, alley-oop economics of the free marketeers and supporters of the Austrian school who uh, believe in, I guess, a deflationary crash. So if, they, if you don't do those, those are the two most obvious uh, alternatives in the public view. What do you do? Well, if you want to know what to do, you go first to tarpley.net. And that is the new, improved, upgraded, all new, radically revamped Tarpley.net. I'm very proud to announce that as of last Thursday, the 17th of December, uh, let's see, a week ago tomorrow, because we're taping this program now on Wednesday, December 23rd. It's Christmas Eve Eve here in Washington, D.C. So we're taping early. Uh, as of last Thursday... On the 17th of December, you could get the upgraded Tarpley.net. Uh, this is the oldest, continuous, anti-Bush dynasty, anti-oligarchical, anti-financier, anti-finance capital, anti-Wall Street, anti-City of London uh, website in the world. It was originally put up there in October of 1996 in the midst of the Clinton Dole election campaign, and it has been offering ever since the free book, uh, the unauthorized biography of George Bush, the elder George H.W. Bush, Bush Pair, is up there. And it's always been free, and you can download it uh, anytime you want. It, it has been free. It remains free. But now, in addition to the uh, Bush biography at this new and improved Tarpley.net, you can also get uh, most of the elements of Against Oligarchy. And we're, this uh, website, needless to say, remains a work in progress. There's a lot of stuff that will be done with it uh, over the coming weeks and months. But already now, today, immediately, you can go there and get most of the main components uh, at least many of the main components of Against Oligarchy, which is my collection of essays and speeches stretching from about 1970 through 1996, and that will be joined probably in the course of 2010 by Against Oligarchy 2, which will probably go from, uh, from 1996 up until uh, 2009, 2010. And ten. So all of that is is coming. But the main thing you can get at uh, Tarpley.net is um, up to date uh, analysis and above all ideas on what to do, program, what to do in terms of your own political activity, your agitation, your propaganda, and uh, in terms of economics, what has to happen to the world economy to get out of this tremendous world economic depression. The derivatives crash of 2007, 8, 9, 10, and uh, endless, because it's bottomless, as we, as we point out. You can also get a whole bunch of other things. There are special sectors there. You can see the, uh, the German part. You can see uh, television and radio interviews in the German language. You can do the same thing with the French. French uh, there's a French interview about 9-11 from a couple of years back. There are a couple of Italian radio interviews, and, of course, uh, I would call special attention to recent 
U.S. media, well, uh, in Bonnie Faulkner off in uh, KPFA, uh, Berkeley, San Francisco. We just did two hours with her in December about Obama's declaration of war against Pakistan. And then the very interesting comparison of Woodrow Wilson as a hypocrite, warmonger, imperialist president working for the House of Morgan, installed in power by Morgan and therefore by London, uh, and how he got the U.S. into World War I. He ran in 1916 saying he'll keep us out of war. And then, uh, after having done that, he turned around and declared war on Germany in uh, about a month after he had started his second term. So a little bit more abrupt than Obama. Uh, he had to do that, of course, because if Britain and France had collapsed, then Morgan would have been bankrupt. Uh, and that was the big issue uh, for the people around Woodrow Wilson. So a complete hypocrite, an academic, quackademic. Uh, that's uh, those interesting things there. And, and right now we you also see a series of uh, my appearances on Russia Today. Russia Today has become the principal world forum for the opposition to the Anglo-American finance empire and their minions around the world. And you can see a truly impressive array of people on there. You can see Christoph Herstel of Germany, the world's leading expert on Afghanistan and, and uh, Pakistan. You can see Giulietto Chiesa, former member of the European Parliament, the elected official in Europe who did the most in absolute terms to advance the cause of 9-11 truth, uh, as well as also uh, implacably uh, unmasking the CIA activities in Eastern Europe, black sites, kidnappings, renditions, torture, and all the rest. You can see uh, Wayne Madsen here from Washington, D.C. You turn into Russia today, you see all of this, and among this you see me. So I urge you to take a look at the, uh, the various uh, clips from, from Russia today. There's already one from this uh, week uh, right before Christmas, and I, I think there will probably be another one up in a, in a day or two. So keep up with that. I, I would also add that as, as the site evolves, you'll also be able to get uh, up-to-date commentary in, in written form, uh, including longer items. For example, you can find the <clears throat> essay that I wrote about Major, Major Hassan of Fort Hood and how he was a patsy in a false flag operation. Uh, you can also, therefore, see the, uh, the most uh, recent and, and most, perhaps most relevant um, essay uh, right now, which is Obama Declares War on Pakistan. And we can uh, talk about that a little bit later in the, in the program, depending on the, on the time. So tarpley.net. And what the other thing you see there, of course, is the uh, various books you can see, Surviving the Cataclysm. You can see Obama, the Postmodern Coup. You can also get that in German and Japanese. You see the unauthorized biography of Barack H. Obama. You see 9-11 Synthetic Terror Made in USA, available in French, Italian, and Spanish. You can also buy a print copy of the 1992 unauthorized biography of George Bush the Elder, always very relevant because of the uh, exposure in it of Prescott Bush the Nazi supporter who made it possible for Hitler to seize power along, of course, with others, but in terms of the money and weapons needed for the Nazi party to take power. Prescott Bush working with Thyssen and the Union Banking Corporation in Manhattan and how the uh, family holdings were seized by the Alien Property Office under the Trading with the Enemy Act. Oh, gosh, the Bush dynasty blemished way back in 1942 by their conniving with the Nazis and with Hitler, uh, which tells us uh, a great deal about the uh, U.S. ruling class of that, that period. The Roosevelt haters of that period were uniformly pro-fascist and, and also largely pro-Hitler, although some of them uh, drew the line and just went with Mussolini and left it at that. Anyway, all of this wealth of material, including essays going back to uh, 2004, uh, Rogue Bushbackers prepares Super 9-11 Terror Provocation. Tarpley.net is the ticket. Take a look at it now during the Christmas holidays, and we'll be back in a minute.